crazy. This is spring. It's not the season for pine cones. Hocus pocus, egg of toad. To me, white cloud, now quickly float. Draw together, open up. Panis, punis, fill our cup. <laughs> Okay. Not what I meant. <laughs> Why not make it rain something yummy instead? Breadcrumbs? Ooh, raisins. I just don't get it. An ordinary rain smell shouldn't be this tricky. All right, I'll try again. Uh -oh. I should take pepper. <laughs> Hocus pocus, large in size. To me, white cloud, now quickly rise. Draw together, I shall offer. Legula Laguli, make the ground softer. <laughs> kind of practical. I'd much prefer a woolen <laughs> cap, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> I want to go inside now. Uh, what's the matter? Nothing. You're upset about tonight's Valpurgis dance, aren't you? <laughs> invited to Broken Mountain again this year, and your feelings are hurt. Hmm? Well, you do realize that they have very strict rules. Valpurgis Night is only for the big witches. At 127, you're still considered a little witch. 127 years, two months, and 22 days. It's just not fair. I want to dance on Broken Mountain, too. They'll invite you someday. I'm sure of it. Be patient. What if I just flew up there in secret? If they've already started dancing, they wouldn't even notice me. <clears throat> That's a horrible idea. What if they catch you? They may ban you, and you'll never go. And then what? You think they would? Walpurgis Night sounds like a lot of fun. If you have an invitation, that is. <sighs> I don't advise taking the risk. <sighs> Please be patient. There's always the possibility that you'll be invited to join next year, or the year after that. For how long? <sighs> dance. They don't scare me. How can you tell if someone's a witch? Well, they're really old and really ugly, and they just look wicked. Have you ever seen a witch? Of course not. And if I'm lucky, I'll never see one either.
no. Little witches like you are forbidden from coming here tonight under any circumstances. Yes, I know. But you won't tell. It can just be our secret. <laughs> it seems we have a visitor. It's my little niece. 287 times removed, that is. I've never seen her. <laughs> How old is she, anyway? 127 years, 2 months, and 22 days. <gasps> so young! 127 years, you say? <laughs> How dare you show your face here tonight? A witch of your young age is explicitly forbidden from dancing on Valpurgis night! I'm sorry, but I was so curious, I just had to jump on my broom and fly over. <laughs> she just had to. Is she serious? Hop on your broom and fly back home, little witch, before I get mean. But I... No buts! And don't let me catch you here again. <laughs> <laughs> and what about next year? Can I come back then? Well, if you work hard and become a good witch, then I'll consider it. Really? Perhaps. Then I shall become a good witch. I promise. It will never work. Just take one look at her. She's far too thin. She smells far too good. Look huh? how small huh? she is. Way too small. And she's stupid as well. I'm not <laughs> stupid. I'll be as good a witch as any of you. We Whoa. shall see about that. <coughs> In one year, on the night before Valpurgis, I shall assemble a council of witches. And we will put you to the test. Mm. <laughs> we will then find out if you have what it takes to be a truly great witch. You agree? <laughs> and if you should fail, well, you'll be banned from celebrating Valpurgis Night forever. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the book! this hmm. <laughs> in this book all the things good witches know awaits one year from now you must show flawless mastery of every last spell therein if you wish to pass <laughs> do you understand yeah sure do I'll uh, start studying tomorrow I'll be a good witch I know I will <laughs> show you not so fast a moment please will she not be punished for this violation we all know the rules anyone who comes to the witch's dance without an invitation must be punished that is true give her to me i'll bury her up to her neck in mud <laughs> let's make her lie in a bed of coals for three days and three nights Quiet! such venom and What should we say? <laughs> yes, I would suggest that we take away her witch's broom. Mm. That means she'll be forced to walk three days and nights, mm. step by step, by mm. torturous step, mm -hmm. just to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's what we'll say. Give me a broom. <laughs> but...
can't forget the book. Come on. <sighs> were flying and the drums were banging so loud and the witches were dancing like crazy the bonfire was giant Abraxas oh I wish you could have seen it oh, I think I could have danced all night but they caught you instead unfortunately now I have to learn that whole book is punishment that's not a punishment it's the opportunity of a lifetime how is it an opportunity 7,892 spells of memorization is good how It'll be hard work, that's true. But if you want to be a great witch, it'll take sacrifice. Yeah, so I'll work. Every day for seven, eight hours at least. But first I'll get revenge. On Rumpumpo, that ugly old thing. Uh, so, what's your plan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give her a big, fat pig snout. <laughs> Some horns. <laughs> and a nice, flowing goat's beard on her chin. <laughs> and on her gigantic behind, a thick horse's tail. <laughs> None of this is true revenge. Oh? Since Rumpumple is an older witch, she can dispel all these small charms without even batting her eye. If you really want to take revenge on old Rumpumple, you must become a better witch than she. And you should begin right now. Like right now? Immediately. Hmm. <sighs> Fundamentals of Black Witchcraft. First, the elements. <laughs> the spells on conjuring wind. I think I can handle that. Ventilus, Ventilus, Vantilus, Vuntilus, Verivox, Verifux, Vurvex, Hexorex. Mm -hmm. Ventilus, Ventilus, Ventilus. Funtil... Funtifix? And then it's something like... Verifex? Verihex. What's wrong? Must have been the wrong spell. Wrong spell? What do you mean? No! Take them away! Get rid of them now! That spell is way too complex. And the wind doesn't need my help to blow anyhow. Invoke ball lightning, cause avalanches, release a firestorm. But what about dirty dishes? Or mending socks? Something useful. Can you please just get rid of these ears? They look good on you. <laughs> ears. Ears. Ah. Ears, rabbits, counterspell, conversio. That's it. Mm-hmm. Vari... Varahex. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, oh, dear. I think they look good on you. Ventilus, 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 Muntilus. Varifuks, Verivox. <sighs> These spells are too complicated. And the book is too big. Who am I supposed to get through it? What are you looking for? Did you lose something? We're looking for firewood, but there's nothing on the ground. 
No branches, no twigs, nothing! What do you mean, nothing? There's been no wind, and no wind means nothing's been falling from the trees! I'd love to know magic right now. <laughs> well, you don't, and why you won't help anything. Ventilus, 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 Verivox, Verifux, Verufex, Hexarex. I can conjure. The wind's a good Blunder, start. Thunderbust, thunder, tin drums, lead, and hail. What are you doing? You know you can't collect firewood here. How else are we supposed to heat our stoves? That's not my problem. Empty your baskets right now. Come on, let's go. Please, Mr. Forrester, huh? show some mercy. We're not hurting anyone. Uh, that is not the issue. There are rules. Now empty that basket. You should stay away from me. So, you want to resist? I ought to lock you up for obstructing an officer and... and... and I would be happy to let you keep however much wood you need. Did I really just say that? Thank you for being so agreeable. I just wish these baskets weren't so heavy. Oh, for goodness sake, I should take you in for whatever nonsense you're trying to pull here. But first, I should carry that heavy basket home for you. Why would I want to do that? You really mean it? No. I mean, oh, sure. Here you go. Uh, blunderbuss, thunder, tin drums, lead and hail. <sighs> and if you want... I can carry you if it's easier. <laughs> really? Uh, definitely not. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Giddy up! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Thunder, tin drums, lead and hail. You can set me back down now. Oh. Oh. Well, that was nice. Now run along home. You must be the nicest forester in the world. Mm -hmm. And you'll let the women gather wood in peace from now on? Yes. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> you should have seen him all swearing and sweating. <laughs> it was good of you to help those poor women, but was it necessary to torture the forester like that? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> but why? Because it was fun. I help good people by punishing bad ones. Is that so? Do you really think that's how a good witch behaves? Couldn't you do good without all the tricks and shenanigans? That sounds boring. Boring? Well, it doesn't have to be.
know what? Sometimes I get the feeling that you don't want to be a good witch. Well, that's how I get to dance on Broken Mountain, so of course I want that. Then I think it's about time that you started acting like that's what you want. Don't you agree? How am I supposed to know what's good and what's not? It's not something that you know. It's something that you feel. You have to listen to the voice deep inside yourself. You'll feel it. Stupid questions. <laughs> Cut it out. Let's go. Feeling generous today, folks. Almost giving it away. Suspenders, razor blades, this big bottle of healthy garlic juice for dirt cheap. Step right up. I've got bargains you can't beat. That'll be five, sir. Thank you. You've got yourself a bargain. The finest goods from No Frills Jacob, whatever you need. How much for these? Uh, for you, my dear, just three. No, make it two, okay? Step right up, people. You'll be glad you did. I've got flags, yarn, and ink. Thank you. I hope they serve you well, ma'am. No frills, Jacob! Hello there. Hello. Anything else, ma'am? No, thank you. Mama, will you buy us a candy cane? Or a rock candy, please? Just one? Oh, not today, Brony. Some uh, other time, dear. That will be 870, please. Thank you. <laughs> Let me help you with that. I need a broom, please. A hand broom, a kitchen broom, or perhaps a birch broom, maybe a scrubbing brush. I also have many feather dusters to choose from. Just a simple birch broom. Ah, with or without a broomstick. <laughs> with, I mean, the stick's the most crucial part. Here you go. My finest quality broom. <laughs> Very nice. A large bag of rock candy, please. <laughs> a little more. <laughs> oh, and a candy cane. Ah. Mm. Okay, that'll be nine eighty, please. Oh. Keep the change. Oh. Thank you. Thank you.
handmade paper flower? Flowers. Handmade paper flowers? Flowers. You have so many lovely flowers. I like them. Yeah, I made them all myself. But no one wants one. May I? But their fragrance smells so good. Their fragrance? It smells sweet. You're right. What is that smell? It smells magical. Over there, I think it's those paper flowers. Save me a flower? Your your flowers are quite beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> now, you're going to be my witch's broom, okay? Roasting out here. Ugh. This is so boring. Should I cast some spells? On a Friday? On Friday, spells are forbidden, I know. What about an itty bitty spell? If you're willing to risk getting caught, then go right ahead. But we'll see if you dance on Broken Mountain. Ugh, it's such a stupid rule. No magic on Fridays. I don't understand it. Why not cast spells on a Friday? Are you kids lost? No. Yeah. Come on. I'm 
won't bite. How about a bite to eat? I'll go see what I have. It's her, that lady from the market. Uh... It's a snouted, horned, horse-tailed goat witch. What do you think? I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> How about some cocoa and cake? Good? Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> can I ask you something? You can ask anything. Are you a witch? Roni? So, are you or not? Uh, I'm sorry about that. She's not trying to be rude. Of course you're not a witch. Oh, no? Obviously, you're not mean or ugly or old. And you can't cast spells either. <gasps> hey, I want down. So you really are a witch then. Will you please put me down? What else can you do? Please. <clears throat> what would you like? Are you mad? Have you forgotten what day it is? Well, mm. the bird can talk. Is he an enchanted prince? He's no prince. Abraxas is an old know-it-all who's scared to leave the house. Mm. What's his deal? Probably nothing, but don't you think it'd be nice if we closed the curtains? Oh. Can I come down sure, already? Sure, sorry about that. Oh. Oh. Any requests? Put the table on the ceiling. Oh! Don't mind that. Fill the bathtub with milk and honey. What about you? Is there something that you'd like to see? Make the stove play a song. I see. <laughs> Playtime. <laughs> I was nearby, so I thought I'd pop in. That's nice. I'm kind of right in the middle of uh, cleaning at the moment, so... I don't mind. Just checking on how your studies are going. Good? <clears throat> Very good, actually. Good. Good. Uh, 
very good indeed. <laughs> What's with the curtain and those shutters over there being drawn? Oh, it's, uh, because it's hot outside. I see. The heat. spells I never do such a thing on a Friday you know spells are forbidden today don't you don't get cute with me sorry do you have visitors right now no you wouldn't happen to be entertaining humans we witches are to keep away from humans. You know that's forbidden too, don't you? Of course, that's common knowledge. What's that? Um, I like to draw. It's relaxing. It's not bad. You have talent. Honey? Yep, it's good for the skin. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Why? There's something wrong with my skin? Oh. You mean war? <laughs> Is someone here? No! That was me! This time of year always gives me terrible hay fever. It gets worse each year. I just can't seem to shake it off. Go away! You'd better count your lucky stars. It's Friday, or else I... Cut it out, Abraxas. What did you call him? That charbroiled chicken there? He's the Braxis. He's my raven. He gets in the way when I'm cleaning, so I put him in the cupboard. You know that we true witches, our pets tend to be cats. Uh, cats? Yeah. Meow. Not caw, caw, caw. You should think about that. Try some nettle tea. With some boiled raven's feet, perhaps. Ah! That always works for me. Thank you for the tip. I'll have to try it. You should be sure to clean behind the sofa. There's so much dirt. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, goodbye, Rumpumpo. It was nice to see you. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on you. Who was that? Okay, it's time for you to go home. It's getting late. Did you do that? Yes, thank you. Yep, that's our secret. with you is something wrong we don't know the way now don't worry about that you two just follow your noses and it'll be just fine <laughs> <laughs> a real witch and she's not wicked but the other one sure was yeah and so ugly hello are you lost do you need me to take you home? <laughs> oh, spells on Friday! Even worse, in front of humans! What if you had been caught, huh? Imagine what one pumpkin could have done to those children! Even you know it's extremely forbidden to cast spells in front of humans! Children. 
didn't think about them. Because you only think about yourself. Because you know what's best. You should be thankful. Without me, everything would fall apart. Oh, yeah? Well, you should know that witches keep cats around, not bossy old ravens. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm a homebody, is that it? A brilliant homebody. It's true. I may be a wee bit out of practice, but I could fly if I wanted to. If you wanted, you could fly. Somebody does need to keep an eye on the house when you go out. Of course. Just a household tip. Always clean behind the sofa. <laughs> There's just so much dirt there. You'll be surprised. <laughs> and some nettle tea will work wonders for your hay fever. With boiled raven feet. Oh, but not with mine. It's a deal. I think you should take a little break. You look exhausted. No time. Well, a little fresh air never hurt anybody. Look who's talking. Oh, I'm freezing. <laughs> Let's see if I remember. Ignis Agnes Igunamite, fire set yourself alight. Great. I think you're right. A little fresh air is just what I need. You've earned it. Are you coming? In this cold? I'm not a penguin, you know. <laughs> Coward. 
I am not being a coward. The world is quite a dangerous place for an old raven such as myself. I mean, birds of prey out there, and foxes. Not to mention the rain, wind, Goodbye. and snow. See you later. But I could still fly along. If I wanted to. Achoo! Snowman with your coat so red. Old tin saucepan on your head. Snowman with your coat so white. Don't you think the frost will bite? Glad you have a scar so warm. It saves you from the winter storm. It's a great snowman. Did you build it yourself? Are you a witch like I am? Yeah, a forest witch, and you? I'm not really sure. Hmm. You look like an herb witch to me. You think so? Yeah. Then we could be sisters. <gasps> Maybe. How old are you? Eight. And you? 127. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was joking, too. I'm really 227. <laughs> Come dance with us. Snowman with your nose so red, old tin saucepan on your head. Snowman with your coat so white, don't you think the frost will bite? <gasps> Snowman's kind of stupid. I'm gonna knock him down. Yeah, do it. Get him. Knock him down. <laughs> One good kick. Go for it. Go for it. Where have you been? Ow. Did you steal my money? No, I swear. So where'd it go? There's a bunch missing from my wallet, huh? I don't know. Maybe you lost it playing nine pins again. Ah, oh, you talk to me with respect. <clears throat> Snutty brat. Dad? It's not your business. Just go away. He pushed you. Yeah, so? That's not right. Why does he treat you like that? You can tell me. I promise I won't tattle. really steal his money, did you? No, I didn't. But for the last year, he's been playing nine pins at the tavern almost every night and losing his money. And he always gets mad and starts making up stuff that isn't true. Like you stealing from him. Ever talk to him about it? He gets mad every time you even try to talk to him. Sounds like you both have a temper.
You know, if talking doesn't help, maybe we can try something else. Tonight, huh? <laughs> we'll see who ends up paying the tab. <laughs> hey, you want to see what a penniless man looks like? Oh, don't you start with me. <laughs> all right. I'll knock all of them down on the first roll. <laughs> Watch the match. <laughs> Hey, what'd you do that for? You trying to break my nine pins, Alley? Yeah, something must be wrong with the ball. Uh, all right, all right, I'm in. And now, uh, over there. Stop rolling the ball so blasted hard, or we're never gonna let you play here again. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Just watch. It's like there was a, a curse on me. Cap. What are you doing here? Huh? You, your jacket and your scarf. I'm sorry, Conrad. I'm sorry that I pushed you. Come on, let's go home. What is it? You forgot your ball. I don't need it anymore. No more? Son, what do you think about going sledding? Like we used to? Yeah, or fishing. Hmm. Sounds like fun. And she wants to dance on Brocken Mountain.
For she's a jolly good lady, for she's a jolly good lady, for she's a jolly good lady. Oh, hi. For she's a jolly good lady, for she's a jolly good lady, for she's a jolly good lady. That nobody can deny. My birthday, I completely forgot about it. You've been wrapped up in your studies. And there's 128 candles. Now you'll have to blow them out and make a wish. Do I have to? It's just so beautiful like this. Yeah, you're right. It is quite lovely. I almost forgot. Be warm and cozy. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't heard from any of the big witches. Well, did you really learn every single spell in the book? All 7,892. Hello? I scare you? <laughs> I am here by order of the head witch. Your test will take place tonight at midnight. Come to the Witch's Rock past the cave. You know where that is, don't you? Yes, so tell the Head Witch I'll certainly be there. You don't have to come if you'd rather not. Sometimes it's wiser to simply remain at home. But I really want to dance on Broken Mountain. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. Take my witch's test tonight. an inch all year. So, Excuse you decided me. to take the test, huh? <laughs> to show <laughs> us that you've become a capable witch. Ready for your first task? Yes, I am. Here we go. Conjure a whirlwind. 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 Ventilus, 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 wundilus, virifex, varifex, virifex, hexerex. <laughs> Claps, three of them! A 
Thunderous, Thanarus, Thonarus. Thonarix, Thinnerix, Thanarum. Thunder, Thanner, Thinner Boom. Now, Cass, the spell on page three, thousand five hundred seventy-four, from the Book of Witchcraft. Uh, uh, three thousand five seventy-four. That was. Uh, mm. It says. That one is... I can see it. Uh... Ball lightning! Ball lightning! <sighs> She's correct. <laughs> ball light, bow loose, mana loose. Ball light, bow loose, light a boost. to you joining our celebration. Yes. Hmm? I have an objection. And I can prove that she's not a decent witch. Notwithstanding this tomfoolery here, she's nothing but a foss. A very bad witch. I've been watching her for the last year. And I have a list of her crimes. First, she cast spells on Friday. Tons. Is this true? Yes, but it was only on one Friday. And secondly, she did so in front of human children. <gasps> and these children, tell me, they no longer fear you? Why would they fear me? Don't you know people everywhere need to be afraid of us? It's very important. <laughs> and thirdly, this wretch chose to punish a naughty little boy by bewitching a snowman and bringing him to life. <gasps> What's worse, she did it to help other children. And I also helped the wood women. And I helped the girl at the market sell her paper flowers by giving them an irresistibly sweet smell. And Conrad wasn't really a naughty boy, he was just sad. <laughs> Disgusting! Why would you tell us all about what a bad witch you are? Bad, but I only cast spells to do good things. <laughs> yes, exactly! Witches that cast wicked spells, they're the good witches. But you, on the other hand, are a bad witch, because you only see fit to cast good spells. I didn't know. Unbelievable. You didn't know? A proper witch doesn't know this. She feels it deep within her bones. <laughs> but I did feel it in my bones. You also feel? Like you deserve to dance on Broken Mountain. <laughs> I know what she deserves. We should make her collect the wood for the bonfire. <laughs> all by herself. And after dancing a few rounds, we can snatch this pretender up and pull out all her hair. One strand at a time. Kind witches. We, we are not, not kind witches. witches. I mean you wicked witches. I can make up for it by being really, really wicked as well. Oh, yeah? 
Then prove it to us. Sure. So what do you want me to do first? Ooh. Mm. 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 Have her turn those two human children into stone. You'll have until midnight tomorrow to make it so. Either you do exactly as you're told, or your magic power will be forever gone. And once that happens, you will be banned for all time. And you'll have to live like an ordinary girl, all by yourself. It's time to decide. Is that really the only option? I'll collect all the firewood that you want. I'll gladly take the test again next year, or the year after that. I'll juggle my broom. you go they're really forcing you to do that these poor children are innocent you know you can't turn them to stone I can't if I refuse they'll take away my magic yes it's just so unfair I'll bet none of these stupid witches know the book of witchcraft as well as you do Ugh. they should be punished by taking away their magic powers my blood is just boiling over this I'm so furious this is all your fault excuse me you're the one who told me that I should be doing good deeds now hold it right there those good deeds were entirely your idea were they not you always know what's best and you are a good witch who would never dream of doing bad things and what if I don't want to be a good witch nonsense you shouldn't say such things oh yeah then tell me what you think I should do I've no idea. Really? Lumpumpa was right. What good's a raven? What did you say? <laughs> Do you mean that? you wish. This isn't you. Turn those children into stone after all, eh? That's good. Because if you don't, I will. I promise you. You scared me to death. You okay?
something wrong? You can't do what? The big witches want me to do wicked things. But I just can't. That sounds like a good thing. No, it's not good. Can you cast a spell? After tonight, I can't use magic. Do you not have a spell book? <laughs> what are you doing? Drawing a circle around you to protect you from evil until Valpurgis is over. Mm. Seems you've made your decision. You will regret this. What's your problem with the children? They didn't do anything to you, so why should I hurt them? Because you're desperate to prove that you're a proper witch. But it's so wrong and evil. It is, that's true. We're witches. Well, I'm a witch too. Not for long. We'll see about that. Yes. Your broom will burn nicely. You'll see. At the big dance. <laughs> I'm a proper witch, and I'm not gonna let anyone tell me that I'm not. You hear me, old goat? Nobody else knows that book by heart. You'd all be powerless without your books. Without your books? He said, I hope that they'll serve you well. Quiet! I'm trying to concentrate here. Abraxas, I put out some raisins for you. I'm really sorry about what I said to you. I was confused. 
and scared. But I'm not confused anymore. <laughs> Please, watch the house while I'm gone, okay? I'm gonna go up to the mountain. <gasps> Wish me luck. Broken mountain? Don't go yet! I can help! Wait for me! There's the reason. What did you say? She left the matches? <laughs> yes, I'm aware that she never gets the fire spell right. <laughs> to Broken Mountain? Me? Well, I'm supposed to watch the house, so I can't. Nope, there's no way. Something is missing here. Where is the firewood? This cannot be possible! Wrong. It is very oh. possible. You foul fake! You dare to defy the order that we gave you? Just how am I defying you? You were supposed to turn the children into stone, and you didn't do it! <coughs> and yes, what about yes. the firewood? The bonfire can't take place without firewood, remember? But the wood's there. Is that some kind of joke? I see no wood around. <laughs> Nothing! I think you should look again. Hocus pocus, one, two, three, witches, brooms come fly to me. Lirum, larum, flip and flop, on this lofty mountain drop. Fall upon this spooky place, build a roaring fire base. What are you doing? Are you a fool? Focus, focus, hear me say, witches' books be on your way. High past the roofs on my behest, please join me on this magic crest. I can do it. I can do it. Here I go! I kind of hurt. What's going on? Earth is she not with our spellbook? That tiny girl must have gone crazy. You wretch. I'm going to make you pay dearly for this. Their witchcraft all away. Witches will bewitch no longer. None is weaker, none is stronger. Hocus pocus, blood and bone. Witchcraft is for me alone. Neither 
can I? <laughs> What do we do next? You will reverse the spell right now! Sorry, I can't. Why can't you? Because I forgot it. I think it's on page 3,786. She forgot the spell? So, I think it's time to start the bonfire now. Oh, no! Oh, what? Oh. Stop right there! Um, I really need those matches. <sighs> Ignis, Agnes, Igatrite, fire set yourself alight. Ignis, Agnes, Igatrite, or was it Iganum? <sighs> She forgot the bloody spell! <laughs> what was that spell? A spell book would come in pretty handy now, eh? <laughs> I gotta think. No! Stop it with the torches! <laughs> we'll get you! You miserable, stupid little toad! Ah, uh, yes, the toad, I remember. Hmm. Bufo, Bafo, don't remain. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's settle in the toad's domain. your inner toad be free. <laughs> Sorry. Careful. Oh, pardon. All right. Time to light the fire. But how? You forgot to bring the matches. You've never had any luck starting a fire without them. But it's been over a hundred years since you've flown. I might be a homebody. I can't pretend I'm not. But this was the right occasion. Oh, Abraxas. My dear sweet Abraxas, will you please forgive me for what I said? Yes, of course I will. But I can't forgive you if I can't read. Please let me go. I'm not joking. Need air? I'm sorry. What is she up to? Rumpumple, what are you doing? Oh, who, me? Nothing. Please don't do anything rash. You and I could be friends, don't you think? I mean, uh, I've never actually had a girlfriend, but uh, I don't know why you and I couldn't start that. I always liked you, you know, and just because someone accidentally casts a couple of good spells doesn't mean she has to lose her magic, does it? <laughs> what are we gonna do here? I believe we've had this discussion before. <laughs> you mean... I do! <laughs> <laughs> Pig snout, horns, and horses' tail <laughs> gum winch. <laughs> hmm. Pebble scum, bubble gum, and exotic beast you will become.
It's quite lovely. <sighs> All we need is music. Music? Yeah. It's time we dance now. What do you mean, we? Well, the two of us. Oh, goodness. Bully ton, bully ton, donkey's ear, all you instruments will appear to lend a hand in this wonderful night to dance a splendid dance tonight. Trying to conjure some money. Shouldn't be this hard. Hocus pocus egg of toe. To me, white cloud. Now quickly float. Draw together. Open up. Possum, possum, fill our cup. Of course, you don't mind raisins. Well, I. I'd have made a small mistake. <laughs> How about if we leave the spell casting to me? You are the witch. And you are my dear sweet Abraxas. <laughs> 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 